Hey, hi, hi, hi. So I promised I would talk about the college boyfriend. Love the air quotes. I just love them. <laughs> anyway, uh, I used to, I'm not real sure if I met him in class or if I met him in the rec area or the cafeteria. The cafeteria and the rec area were not too far apart. And um, so I, I was in the rec area a lot because a lot of people would play a card game called Muff. And Muff was um, kind of like what Uno is now, you know, reverse and go back, take two, take five. And so I was always thinking when I saw the game Uno that some of the guys got took uh, Muff and turned it into a, like a legitimate card game and made a bunch of money, so good for them. Anyway, so I'm, I'm not sure if I met him that way or not. But anyway, when after I met Barry, we became very close. There were a few other flirtations, but nothing like that and like so the thing with Barry was was unusual for me because I was used to guys borrowing money you know like that other boyfriend I had and you know not getting affection and I was kind of groomed for that hardcore so when Barry was so loving and kind to me I was like what 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 you know like what you talking about you know I wasn't used to somebody just being good I just was that wasn't something that I knew about. I mean, I knew how to be tough and, you know, kind of like cynical and stuff like that. And that caused some problems later on, my hardness. But one nice memory I like to share, which really put me over the top for Barry, is his parents, I think, for um, when they first dropped him off at college, I think he had a gerbil. He either brought, bought it new or it was something he brought from home. Anyway, he loved this thing, and it was like long hair and fuzzy. And, you know, he, he was so lovey. I never saw a guy be so lovey. And I loved that he was lovey. I, I, I did, it was like it just threw me a, a, for a loop. And... I admired that. And then um, one day, uh, you know, I knocked on his dorm door and uh, he was upset and his do his gerbil had died. You know, they pick up germs. They're kind of like rabbits. Rabbits die easy, too. They pick up germs and who knows. And uh, he was devastated. And you know what? I never met in my life up until that point such a tender hearted man and you know there was a thing back then it it isn't now but it was about if a man cried he was a sissy or you know he's you know whatever of course that men have permission to cry now which i think is so freaking awesome but he was just crying and i didn't think the less of him i just thought he just loved something so much that it broke his heart oh barry and all I wanted to do was comfort him and hang around him and everything like that. But what happened is that um, he um, loved me so much that it started to like feel like I was being smothered. And like I said, I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know how to, if I had met him in high school and I had went to one high school, maybe had some longevity and we worked through and grew together, that would have been like a better thing, I guess. I'm not real sure, but it was like, like, I didn't know what to do with it. I was like, uh-huh. So well, I started to avoid him a little bit because it scared me. I, I didn't, you know, I really, it wasn't that I didn't care for him because I did, but it scared me how, how not clingy. I don't want to say clingy because I don't think that was it. But I felt smothered because of my own stuff. And um, anyway, uh, one time, now this is where it got to be a problem for me. One time on campus, I started, when I was starting to avoid him, um, I told everybody in the rec area and, you know, people in the cafeteria that knew me and stuff to tell him that, you know, I wasn't here. Don't tell him where I went or what classes. And he was looking for me all over campus. And, you know, he he um, left messages for me everywhere. And I kept telling everybody, no, no, no. I kind of wanted to kind of, you know, push back a little bit. And um, when I finally found out, he was looking for me because his father... Um, had gotten tickets for this great concert. Now, I'm not real sure, but I think that his dad had something to do with the Madison Square Garden concert promoters, or he knew somebody, or he worked there. There was some kind of inn he had. And the concert was for Nights in White Satin by Moody Blues. That was their big, big hit. And, you know, if you're younger and you haven't really taking that in um even today if they released it now the audiences of today would just be enamored they would fall in love with it one song was an entire album side it it's just amazing it, I, I like 
I just, you know, everybody loved that song, Nights in White Satin, and it had a deeper meaning, and people wrote about it, like there was, they call it fan fiction now, but it was fan fiction too back then, people wrote what they thought the song meant, anyway, he was trying to find me to get me to go to the concert, and I kept ditching him, and like trying to avoid him, and, and my bad, because guess what? I um, found out about it after the fact, and I know that that was the, pretty much the decline, the denouement of our relationship. That was was a start and end because um, I just uh, kind of pushed him away, and he, he didn't like that, and I broke his heart. But what I want to say to Barry, if you ever get to watch this, because I know you're still around... Um, I'm sorry, but you know what? I probably did you a favor because I probably would have hurt you more later on. My life went after that. So uh, you probably dodged a bullet by, you know, having that little pain at the front end rather than being in for the whole uh, the whole pound. So anyway, I'm sorry. You know, if I was a better human being, I probably would have responded better and maybe things would have been different. I wouldn't have had to hurt you like I did. So... You know what? It all ended up well. I know you're happy in your life now, and I'm happy just being my goofy self and making these videos. All right, that was that boyfriend in college. <laughs>